Hello again. Uh, welcome to another Seaton Crew Vinyl Report. Uh, I'm Graham. Uh, how do you do? Um, I'll start off with uh, a bit of bonsai because I know a few members like like the trees. So uh, this this thing here is a big old uh, big old hawthorn. Um, uh, it's something I've been working on for about four years. Um, it's it's really getting there now. It's, um, I had to cut everything off because I wasn't happy with the branches that were on there and start all all over again from scratch. Um, this thing is a tiny little thing growing on a log. Um, just wanted to uh, demonstrate that uh, there's different sizes in bonsai. Size isn't important, which is just as well. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but um, no, this uh, this is. Um, Tiny little uh, little bonsai known as mame. That's the this, the size of uh, the class of bonsai mame. Um, but I uh, just want to show you the difference and that uh, there is different sizes in bonsai. Um, that's the trees. I uh, hope you like them. That's that. Right. Uh, before we start with the vinyl stuff, I just want to say. Welcome to the new members because the zone's gone crazy lately. We've had new members, we've had loads of posts, posts from uh, from older members. Um, Josie Bloom hasn't been here for a while. Nice to see you again, Josie. Well done. Um, <coughs> uh, now, first off, we've got Tina and Rob in Cornwall. Uh, absolutely first class. Straight in there with pictures of their, their vinyl stuff, which is what we're about. Their um, sound system. Well done. Uh, and some great posts since. Um, Thanks for that. Welcome to the zone. Uh, Susan Allen uh, in North Carolina. Welcome to the zone. Keeps joining in with all the fun uh, crack between the between the tracks. Um, excuse me. Um, joins in with all the fun comments and stuff. Uh, welcome to the zone, uh, Susan. Um, Jeff Butterfield, a local Hartlepool busker. Um, I invited him into the zone uh, recently. Haven't heard a lot, but it's early days. But it, so if you're listening, Jeff, uh, welcome to the zone. Um, Mark Jennings, next up. He, I've worked with Mark for what oh, twenty odd year, um, and uh, I know that he has a really broad taste in music. Uh, so we should expect some great stuff from him. So nice one, Mark. Uh, some good posts up now. And, uh, welcome to the zone. Um, Mark's invited a friend, Tim Ward. Uh, welcome to the ward. Welcome to the welcome to the ward. Yeah, uh, the crazy ward. No, welcome to the welcome to the zone, uh, Tim. Um, I've, se I've seen uh, a couple of things from you recently. Well done. Keep it up, um, and welcome. Um, lastly, but not least, obviously, is uh, Ace's mum, Elizabeth. Uh, I've seen a few posts from you, Elizabeth. Well done. Good stuff, uh, and welcome to the welcome to the zone. Um, right, um, that's the um, the welcomes out the way. I just want to, for the benefit of the new members, I just want to introduce the, um, the the existing members, the the ones that, that do quite a bit in the zone. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'll start off with Steve Norton. Steve Norton designed the T-shirt, uh, designed the uh, that's, uh, the the logo for the group. Um, Brilliant Steve. Steve's done some cartoons of, uh, of the members as well. Um, he did this one of me. Portrayed me as a grey-haired, four-eyed, goofy Japanese person. Um, well, nice one Steve. I'm not sure I like the Japanese bit though. Um, anyway, thanks for that. I treasure that Steve. Cheers. Um, yeah, Steve's always there in the morning helping get things going with loads of posts and shares and stuff. Um, next up, um, that's Steve in uh, Teesville on Teesside. Next up is uh, Steve Kindred. Steve and Donald Kindred do the California Vinyl Report. Um, Steve started this whole vinyl report thing. Uh, great stuff, Steve. I don't know where we'd be in the zone without you, honestly. Um, Steve's also donated a couple of t shirts. So I think he's, he's asked me to to, uh, to distribute them to anybody who's interested in a T-shirt. But I think there might be a few people want them. So what we, what we might do is is do a competition or something. Uh, so if you're interested in a T-shirt, watch out for that. Um, see what we can come up with. Um, uh, they're, they're both. He's 
donated to the both extra large, so they should fit most people. Uh, even if, if you're if you're a skinny person, then uh, they might be a bit oversized, but they'll still fit. Um, right. Um, oh yes. Next up, um, Asa Davis. Asa, uh, great um, vinyl reports. Asa is do, doing vinyl reports from Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, or is it uh, Ntungamo in Africa? Never quite sure. Um, but great stuff, Asa. Uh, really, um, you, you, some of the, the recent reports have been really good. Uh, I know you had troubles with the sound in your earlier ones, and you've obviously got that sorted out now. Um, next up, Dave Muir, who lives uh, in the Lake District. Um, Dave's never been out the zone lately. Well done, Dave. I don't know where, where, where it's all coming from. All the stuff that you post is brilliant. Um, we did a we did a world around the world week, and Dave posted some great stuff there. Uh, he's obviously got a, a good knowledge of, of music from all different countries around the world. Um, we should maybe do that again. Um, anyway, great stuff, D uh, Dave. Thanks for all your efforts. It's uh, it's good to have you. Um, honestly. Um, <clears throat> next up, uh, Dorothy Jane Andrews, um, as it comes up on the screen. Dorothy, uh, she's always there now and again. Uh, she's always there. She's always there. She's she's not always there. She's th but she just keeps turning up every now and again and joining in with the with the uh, with the fun and you know doing a few posts and, and and stuff. Great stuff, Dorothy. It's good to see you. Good to have you in the zone. Um, now Dan Ward, uh, that's our uh, uh, reggae expert, always seems to find some connection with reggae, or whatever the theme is, but, uh, good stuff. Um, great stuff uh, Dan, keep it up, uh, thanks for all that. Um, Peter Gill, PG Tips, you've probably seen them already, uh, I'm, I'm referring to the new members, you probably, uh, old members know, know uh, the PG Tips, it's, it's Peter, Peter Gill, PG Tips is he gives you a tip on a on a on a uh, different track just about every day. Um, good stuff, Peter. Keep it up, mate. Um, <clears throat> right, that's if I've forgotten anybody, I apologise. Um, uh, I've just become a granddad and I forget stuff, so uh, you can forgive so forgive me for that. Anyway, um, let's get on with the vinyl. Um, this weekend is going to be uh, classic rock weekend. I know it's not everybody's taste, but it's um, you know we we have to we have to uh, do different genres from time to time. But I'm sure, like Dan and like Steve Kindred, master of it, find a a, a link somehow to whatever the theme is. So, um, but don't let that put you off. Just um, join in as uh, join in as well if you can. If it's not your if it's not your particular thing. But anyway, uh, stop rambling, Watson. Get on with the vinyl. We've got, um, first off, uh, to coincide with the Classic Rock Weekend, I've picked out Classic Rock albums, and the first up is uh, Focus, um, some great tracks, Hocus Pocus, this one, uh, Hocus Pocus, a great track from, from years ago, uh, I, I love this stuff, um, another good track on there is Sylvia. Um, if you if you like classic rock and you haven't heard these before, give them a try. This, this is it. This is what you, this is what you get. This is like proper classic rock stuff. Um, the next uh, the next thing, bit of yodeling as well. The next one up is uh, Edgar Winter. This is a good album. It's got the classic Frankenstein on there. Funky picture on the back. Um, it's uh, it's a good album. I bought it. I bought it specifically for Frankenstein because uh, I love the track. But there's some other great tracks on there as well. Uh, so if you see that one, you like you like a bit of uh, classic rock, give that a go. Um, right. Um, we'll stop there, um, and I'll put another album on because. Just lately, I haven't got an assistant, so it's a bit difficult for me. But um, what what uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try this time to uh, I'm going to try this time to play more than one track. Um, so just bear with me while I uh, find an album to put on that one. Uh, I know Rob 
Bristol's going to like this because he's obviously a mad um, Zeppelin fan and I'm a big Zeppelin fan myself. Uh, now this track is my favourite Ze Zeppelin track. Uh, I think Rob you posted it sometime, re sometime recently in the week. Um, you hear that? That wasn't on there before. It's probably not a scratch. It's probably uh, a bit, bit of dirt on the thing because I know that album's not scratched. Anyway, uh, I'll let that play a bit. Great track. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to try and shut up so you can hear the tracks because I normally ramble on while the, while the music's playing. Right, what's next? Um, yeah, right, okay. Um, I'll let that run because uh, I love it. And, uh... Next up, Fleetwood Mac. Um, everybody's heard of this album. Everybody's heard all the tracks on it. It's a great album, but I wanted to, I wanted to feature it anyway um, because if if you haven't got it on vinyl, get it on vinyl. Uh, you'll probably be able to pick it up quite cheaply because there was so many of them sold. It's it's uh, you probably find that quite easily. Um, <clears throat> next one is a more recent Fleetwood Mac. It's uh, what's it called? Tango in the Night. Uh, it's got a couple of the singles on there, Big Love and Little Lies. It's, um, it's got some other great tracks on there anyway, but um, if you like Fleetwood Mac and you don't know that album, uh, give that a go, I recommend that one. So I like the more modern uh, stuff. Um, right, next up is... Uh, go on, here it is. Yeah, no secret that I'm a big... Um, Pink Floyd fan, um, and I know Mark Jennings is as well, uh, so this one is not the, I didn't want to share Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here, so everybody knows that stuff, but if you're just getting into Pink Floyd and you haven't heard this album, give it a go because it's it's really good, it's, it, it is, in my in my opinion, it's it's as good as the other big ones like, uh, like Dark Side of the Moon, it, it really is, um, give it a go, and I think you you probably recognise the the album cover. It is quite quite a common one. I haven't said all that, but uh, nice nice cover, nice album. Uh, if you come across it, get it. Um, right, what's next? Uh, we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Oh yeah. Um, great band. I bought this when it first came out. Uh, Wishbone Ash Argus. It's uh, three. If you can see that, three pound forty-nine. That wasn't bargain basement or anything like that. It wasn't bargain book or anything. That was what you paid for an album back then. That, that, that's when that came out. I bought it, loved it. Um, it's one of their most famous albums, I think. Um, tracks uh, recommended tracks on there: "Blowing Free," uh, "King Will Come," "Throw Down the Sword." Uh, definitely, uh, if you like classic rock and you've never heard. That album or, or much of which going on stuff, that's where you need to start. This one is their more recent stuff, or at least um, I think it was probably the last thing they did, at least on vinyl. Um, it's the album's called Just Testing. It's uh, as you can see, they're all sort of more recent pictures of them. And I'm talking about recent, probably about 1980s. But um, anyway, if you like Wishbone Ash, you like classic rock, good one to have. Uh, now, uh, it's a compilation album, but it is a good compilation album. Alice Cooper, Great Sits. This has got some great tracks on it. I love Alice Cooper. My daughter went to see Alice Cooper um, oh, uh, last year, the year before, at Download. Um, he's, he's still going great, um, despite being hung on stage so many times. But, uh, but uh, anyway... Um, Great album, nice, nice cover as well. Look at the artwork on this. This is uh, this is great stuff. Almost like Sgt. Pepper's, really, isn't it? Uh, great stuff. Yeah. Um, great album. Anyway, there you go. 
that's uh, unscrewed it for you. I'll slip that back in there. I know, I know, my album covers, are, as I've said before, my album covers are a bit battered from carrying them round from one friend's house to another. But um, I always look after the vinyl. I always have done, and um, I really need to check out what was clicking on that one. Um, another blast from the past, Hawkwind. Um, if Hawkwind aren't classic rock, I don't know what is. Um, this is a uh, one of one of their later albums as well. Um, it's uh, where's the track list? There's no track list on the back. Yes, there is. I can't see because uh, I'm just uh, I'm a granddad now. I, memory's gone, so eyes, eyesight's gone, everything. Uh, but anyway, um, Hawkwind, great classic uh, rock band. If you just if if you're just getting into classic rock, uh, give them a go. Um, right, next thing, next up is Rush, my favourite classic rock band. Uh, is this? Well, big, big fan anyway. Um, it's a couple of the early albums. When I went to see them on this tour when, when they brought this album out, and I went to see them on the following tour when they brought this album out, and one. Both, by the way, both great uh, artwork on the albums. Um, look at that. Bloody hippies, a lot of them. Anyway, um, yeah. Recommended tracks on this album. Closer to the Heart. Um, Xanadu, it's a classic. Every, or every rock fan knows Xanadu. Um, Madrigal is the love song that I uh, that I posted uh, recently in the uh, the love songs uh, theme that we did. Um, and interestingly, what they did with this album was the last track on that album uh, was uh, like a science fiction story, typical of Rush. And the, it, it says on the album at the end of the lyrics, "To be continued," and they continued the story in a track on that album. Um, which and at the time you bought that album and you and you thought oh great can't wait for the next album uh, it was it wasn't a sales trick it was just a quirky thing that Rush did I'm sure but um, anyway another sort of funky album cover sort of like uh, nice uh, nice artwork um, still bloody hippies though right um, is that all we've got oh no I forgot to mention. Uh, Steve, um, I know you said that uh, Angus is uh, is a toy now for the dogs, and uh, I, I've got this. It's, it's Agnes. She's heartbroken. Look at her. She's heartbroken because she haven't got a Angus anymore. Or have you? Um, but uh, I think we, we'd like to see him back. I don't. I don't. I don't think you should have uh, done away with him, really. But uh, never mind. Um, anyway, that is this week's. Uh, vinyl report. I didn't do one last week because I wasn't well. Um, I was uh, never mind. Don't want to go into it. Uh, it wasn't a pretty sight. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the the report, uh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>